What's up babies? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to do ombre glitter. So right here I'm showing you the little finger, the practice fingers. You can get these on Amazon. Also I'm using the D&D &D natural tips and these were a number 6. And we're using the full beauty glitter. I got this from AliExpress and obviously my glitter planet laser lights which is like a rose gold glitter. Also my organic cover pink. And this one was the Mia Secret Clear, but in a different container. So I already shaped the nail and everything, and now I'm going to prime the nail. You don't have to do this, but on a real nail, obviously you would. And I'm using my Elfa brush. Also, I have a video on how to take care of your brushes, so go check that out, please. So I'm going to start off with a clear bead and dipping it into my glitter. So this is the first step of an ombre glitter. Here you don't have to fade anything out. You're just going to put it halfway on the nail and brush down. This You're not making a gradient effect just yet. This is going to act like a base. I would suggest to work a little bit more on the wet side. Just if you're a beginner, it's more easier to work wet than dry. And now I'm dipping into the rose gold glitter. But here I didn't like the big chunks, so you can see that I'm taking them off. So right here, again, if you work wet, you can really just move the glitter around. And if you work dry, obviously it's going to be harder. So I'm just putting a little bit of the rose gold glitter on top. And as you can see, I'm not blending anything. Just how I put it is how it's going to stay. So next, we're going to jump into our cover pink. And right here, I'm making sure that my brush is really clean and there's no glitter particles. So I'm getting a small bead and placing it right in the middle, right where the glitter starts. So I place that bead and then I brush down. This one doesn't have to be as blendable, if that makes sense. You can just leave it like that. Next, I'm taking a bigger bead and also more on the wet side. And this one's going to be placed on the cuticle. So remember not to flood the cuticle as well. So since this one was more on the wetter side, we have to go a little bit faster by moving it from side to side. But if anything gets on the skin, just use the tip of the brush to swipe it off. As you can see right here, I'm taking the tip of the brush and just cleaning it off. And once your cuticle is all set, you're going to brush down and this is where the blending is going to start happening. And also remember, if you need to take another small bead, if you have an indention or anything, go ahead and do it. Mine didn't need any more product, so I left it like that. So this is a very important part. We're going to dip into our clear acrylic and pick up more glitter. And we're going to place our glitter where we previously had the other glitter. And we're simply just blending up. Yes, I know this sounds like, how are you going to get that effect? But just trust me. It literally works but mainly you're focusing the glitter on the tip of the nail and less glitter as you blend up so as you can see I really haven't done much just place the glitter and blend up and that's how it literally ends up and it's so pretty and next I'm just taking like little pieces of the glitter and just placing them how I like to create that more fade effect and a big tip is work wet once again. And just right here, as you can see, swipe off any glitter that's like really close to the cuticle or that doesn't look good. And as you can see, that's how the ombre comes out and it comes out really pretty. Super easy. Next, I'm taking a bead of clear acrylic and encapsulating it. Girl, I can't even talk, but you know what I mean. So remember, glitter you have to encapsulate because if you don't, when you drill it off, well, when you drill the nail, 
it's going to all come off. So make sure to always encapsulate. Also, as you saw, I didn't encapsulate the whole nail. I didn't start from the cuticle to the tip. I just started where the glitter fade started. I just feel like it's a waste of product that I really don't need to encapsulate the whole nail. Just the glitter part. So once it looks good from every angle, you're basically done with your acrylic application. Here, listen closely. The cuticle part is dry, but the tip is not. So this is a very helpful thing I learned that you can hear when it's dry and when it's not. So right here, it's not dry. And right here, you can tell the difference on the noise that all the entire nail is fully dried so pay attention to that next we're taking our hand file and just shaping it again once everything is dry and we're going for that coffin shape so we're going side to side and then straight on the tip I'm taking my bit underneath the nail just to ensure that I have that C kind of C shape underneath. And I'm going side to side to smooth out any bumps, any humps, any lumps. Hey, that rhymed. But right here we're sealing the cuticle, making sure that the cuticle is all smooth. And a big tip is make sure to look at your nail up, down, side, side, in different directions. To make sure it looks good. Just because it looks good on top doesn't mean it's going to look good from the side. So as you can see, we have our apex there, which is our strongest point of the nail. And once we're done filing, we're taking our orange buffer and just smoothing out all the scratches we made from the previous bit. This is very important, especially when you have glitter, anything underneath the nail, anything that's encapsulated. Because if you don't smooth it out right, it won't be as clear if that makes sense. So just smooth out the whole entire nail. Next I'm taking some alcohol and just wiping off the dust. If it was an actual person I'll make them go wash their hands. But I'm simply just using some alcohol. Next I'm using the Koopa No Wipe Top Coat. Gel Top Coat. And as you can see, it looks so pretty. I love this top coat. It's so shiny. I love it. I love it a lot. But make sure not to get it on the skin, not to get it on the cuticle. Because then it will burn their hand when they place it in the lamp. Look at how pretty. And then we're going to cure for 60 seconds. Always cure for 60 seconds. And as you can see, it looks so shiny. It looks so good. It's such a pretty, pretty glitter ombre. So this is the final result. Always make sure to add oil to your client's nails. So, you know, it won't look little, you know, crusty or whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned from it. Yes, I'm sorry. It was really hard recording with, like, a practice finger. But I hope you guys enjoy it and just leave a comment if you would like to see another nail video or what you would like to see. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support.